Next, we have the semi-finals for sprints. First, we have the certainly world-famous Nakano, world millionaire Nakano against Vernet from France. Vernet, who has been world champion in 83 for 10 of sprints. So the last lap for these to rise, Nakano is leading before Vernet. So the first round of the first semi-final for professionals. Nakano is leading out. Nakano really likes leading out. Nakano already won the world championship eight times. No one ever did it before him. Eight times. Nakano is very close. Nakano wins. I wouldn't say who won, but I presume that Nakano will win. It's very surprising how the French rider came still for professionals. And now here we see his uh, friend Matsueda in front of that son from Italy. Matsueda leading here before that son. Matsueda very attentive. Watch his out. Matsueda takes a nice gap here, but he tell you now, presume he will come back in the straight line. It'll be a very close sprint. The Italian rider comes over it. Bit of a swing there of the Japanese, but ooh, I wouldn't say who won, but I presume it's Matsueda this time. I think it is Matsueda who wins. Very easy. Nakano. Nakano goes to the lead. As you see, none of these riders are wearing socks. That is not unusual at all. Actually, if you wear socks, I'm sure that one of your managers will, or team leaders will tell you to spin a half left to go, and Nakano is leading. Ooh, that would be very difficult for Venet to beat Nakano here. Nakano still leading. Nakano, Nakano, I think you... Yeah, yeah, Nakano wins very easy. Although he opened the door there a bit on the left for Vernet, but Vernet wanted to go in, but Nakano closed the door very easy. Matsueda is leading here. Still leading Matsueda on the last lap. There we go in the last half a lap. Matsueda is still leading, Matsueda is still leading. Now the Italian is betting the wheel of Matsueda. I think he has a bigger chance now to win from Matsueda. It will be very close, but Matsueda is too strong. No, no. This time it is very clear. Matsueda goes through to the finals. Nakano taking the lead again. The dark, the, Normally sprinters don't like taking the lead, but Nakano loves taking the lead because he knows that he's stronger and when he's in the lead he can move a lot more and manipulate a lot more with his bike so if he doesn't come out of the wheel and he cannot crash. If you can remember the sprint that he had against Gary Singleton in Brno, that he crashed at least a lot. And uh, Werner Surprised the Japanese, and he had a very big chance to win. Werner, that was a very good move of Werner. Very surprising, but look at Nakano, look at Nakano, he comes up and over, and there's no way Werner can win. Ooh, Nakano shows here that he's certainly the world champion. Nakano is certainly here the best sprinter of all. That was very impressive. <laughs> So the last lap for these two riders. Fenech keeps up, skipping up the speed. Fenech very attentive. Italian goes down and goes to the lead. Speed up. Italian is leading, but it looks like Werner is going to win it fairly easy to me, because he's very good place there, he's in the wheel. Werner over the Italian, yeah, Werner is going to win it 
very easy. So first round for the third place, won by Verne. That is leading now before Nakano. Nakano waits. Matsueda and Nakano are very good friends. They always train together. And of course they are in all the big tournaments in Japan where they win all the big money. Matsueda pulls on the sprint very good here for Nakano, if you can, can say. I'm sure Nakano will win very easy. Yes, very easy. It's like it was won by Vernet, as you saw just before. This time Latsan is leading before Vernet. The Italian is... And again, Vernet very good. A very good attack of Vernet, nearly the same way he did with Nakano. Although he was a lot further away with Nakano, the Italian won't make it anymore. Yes, he still does it. The Italian still beats Vernet. Two. For the third place. So Vernet is leading before Datsan. And who wins this sprint gets the bronze medal. Four hundred meters to go, last lap. And then we know who's the winner of the bronze medal. Fernand is still leading, high in the corner. And Datsan is going to dive. Yeah, there goes Datsan, but it's not really an attack. Ooh, Datsan is a lot faster here. That'll be very hard for Vernet to beat Datsan. Yeah, Vernet gives him the bronze medal. So Datsan gets the bronze medal. Very happy, of course, in front of his own public. Rounds. And if he wins this sprint, Nakano, he can call himself for the ninth consecutive time world champion sprint in for professionals. So three quarters of a lap to go. Matsueda still leading before Nakano and Matsueda is pulling on the sprint again. And Matsueda pulling on the sprint again. And Nakano oh, just sit in the wheel of it, go over. It is very easy. No problem for Nakano, so Nakano for the ninth time, world champion, of course. Do you see in your picture Mark Goski from America?